Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. This video is about shell. So most distributions have bash as the default shell, but I like zesh, zsh. So I'm going to show you how to install it, configure it, and how to set it up to be the default shell in your system. So let's get to it. Today I'm running a virtual machine of Linux Mint, the Ubuntu version, and I'm going to show you how to make Zesh the default shell. So first of all, we want to install Zesh. So you can go into the software center and you can type in Zesh. Click on this. Install it. Continue. Put your password in. And it's installing it. Now we're going to go back. And I'm going to install this Zesh syntax highlighting as well. Install it. And I'm going to go back. So now we can see they're both installed. And I'm going to close this window. Now, of course, you could install it in the terminal as well. So if you're running Linux Mint or any other Debian-based distribution, you would have typed in this command, sudo apt install dash, leave a space, dash, dash, then tax high lighting, and then hit enter, and it would have installed it. And if you're running Arch or an Arch-based system, you would type in sudo pacman s dash space, and again, the zesh syntax highlighting. Hit enter and it would install it. Now, the other thing is, is that zesh doesn't come with a proper configuration file. So you're either gonna have to make one or you can use mine. So, if you don't have Git installed, you could go into the software manager and install Git, or you can install it in the terminal. And in the terminal, you do sudo apt install git, hit enter. Or if you're in Arch or an Arch based system, you would do sudo pacman s. Git like that and hit enter. So I'm not going to install Git because I already have it installed. And like I said, you could go into the software center and install it as well. The GUI software center, that is. Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to download my uh, mensh directory from GitLab. But what you would do is you would type in git clone https. colon slash slash get lab dot com slash artibus one slash mench dot get if you never clone my mench directory you would type in this command and clone it if you already cloned my mench directory a while back then you'd want to update it because I've made some changes in it. And as a matter of fact, I made a change today. Before I made the video, I made a change today in my Zesh RC file. And that's the one we're going to be downloading. So if you already downloaded my GitLab repository, you're going to want to update it. And the way you would update it would be. So just to confirm that you previously downloaded my GitLab repository, you would type in this command ls and you can see it here it is here my mensh directory okay right here so you would cd into it and to update it you do get get pull hit enter and it's updating it and that's it it's updated so now what you want to do is Let's clear the screen. Let's ls8. And this is 
the file that you want. So now, kind of, if you're running vanilla Arch Linux or an Arch Linux system, this is the file you want. But if you're running Linux Mint or any other Debian based system, then you want to CD into this Debian folder because I had to change the configuration file because this dash configuration file works in Arch Linux and Arch based systems. And there's two lines in this file that if you use it in Linux Mint or in a Debian based system, you get errors. So I had to take comment those lines out. So I commented those lines out and I copied it into this folder called Debian. So you want to, so like I said, if you're using Arch or Arch based system, copy this one. But today, because we're running uh, Linux Mint, which is based on Debian, well, it's Ubuntu, Linux Mint Ubuntu, but it's also based on Debian. We're going to CD into this Debian folder right here. So CD Debian. Gonna ls just to see it there and there it is so now i'm going to copy this and of course you can do this in the file manager as well in nemo or any other file manager you may be using but i'm going to just copy it in the terminal so copy zsrc into my home directory now i'm going to cd into my home directory i'm going to make sure it's there and here it is right here zsrc I'm also going to make another file called Z history. So I'm going to do period Z history. Oops, sorry. I'm going to do touch Z history. I should spell it right there. Now, of course, you could do this in Nemo or in any other file manager. Now let's make sure it's there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these files in my root directory. So I'm going to su into root, put my password in, and I'm going to cd. So now I'm right in root. Now let's just confirm that those files aren't there and they're not. So now I'm going to copy slash home. Mitch that is HRC and I'm going to put a period leave a space and put a period in and it should have copied it let's see if it did and it did and is that history I don't have to copy I'm just going to make one so touch that history let's just confirm that it made it and now let's see if my Zesh is working. And if Zesh is working in root and in my user, then I'm going to make it show you how to set it up as default. So let's type in Zesh. And here it is. It's working. No errors. Now let's exit. Let's exit again. And let's see if it's working in my user. And it is no errors. So now what I'm going to do is set it up to be default. Now I'm going to do vim etsy and actually sudo vim etsy password without the O and without the R. Hit enter. And I'm going to go to the end of the very first line and I'm going to change this bash. to Zesh. Then I'm going to go down to my match line and go to the end and I'm going to change. So I'm changing my user. So I changed the root at the top to from bash to Zesh and now I'm going to change match from bash to Zesh. ZSH and I'm going to save the file. Like I said, you can do this in Nano or any other 
processor or text editor and now we're going to log out close the terminal and let's log out you can either log out or you can reboot it doesn't matter and i'm going to go back in put my password back in and if it worked right and it should have is that just going to be my default configuration so let's open up the terminal and see if it worked and it worked so now zesh is my default configuration let's see if it worked for root that's you put my password in and it worked for root so now i have zesh as my default configuration let's close the terminal in this video i showed you how to install zesh and how to make it the default shell in your system i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching i am the linux mensch